Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. And I hope you're going to have a really good week. That uh, new moon energy and that solstice energy has been very intense for just about everyone. And I want to let you know what the good news is about it. This is closure the twin flamey way. Yes. How do twin flames close things up? Well, let me tell you, we are a force of nature. So just in my neighborhood, I had two power outages. Those are never fun, but it always feels like there's something else going on. There's also things with the weather where, you know, we had some 90 degree days. It was time to turn on the air conditioners and the fans and things like that. And by the way, that did not send the power out. But then after a few days, it jumped right into September for some reason. And a lot of this has to do with the change in the weather patterns here. You can actually see the wind comes from one direction and then it starts to come from the other direction. This happens a lot at the change of the seasons. Why? Because it's about balancing. And that's what we're doing here. So this closure, this is from now until August, closing old timelines. This is going to be really ancient stuff. Not just closing out your childhood or stuff with your family. This is going to be ancient timelines. This is going to be those of you who identify with certain cultures, ancient cultures. It could be ancient Samaria. It could be ancient Persia, ancient India, ancient Peru, ancient uh, Mayan culture, like in the Yucatan, in Mexico. That's in Mexico, by the way where, by the way, you can still go there. There's no wall. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you might have a connection to a lot of you, ancient Atlantis, Atlantis. You're going to have connections to some of the same angelic tribes that brought you here. And why here? Because there were promises being made. And those promises are now coming to bear fruit. So, Closing timelines, old cultures, traditions, and such. This is going to be rituals. This is going to be things where you just blow th right through a level and certain things just don't work for you anymore. Not only do they feel neutral, you may feel like you go backwards on them and you might say, why am I repeating things or why isn't this working for me? And you have to find what's new. The other thing that's going on with this energy, you are transcending what's been up in the air and grabbing back what is yours with gusto, con gusto. Yes, you have to be able to grab back what is yours. What does that mean? What that means is for a lot of you, it's your freedom. It's your sovereignty. It means liberating yourself. But it could mean other things too. It could be what if there's a rumor in the air? Or what if there's something you're thinking, but it comes true? And something like you keep wishing that you were free or out of a relationship and suddenly it's time to get out of that relationship. Or what if you suspect something and you find it out? Okay, it's been up here, it's been in the air, or someone says it to you. And this is another thing to notice. How balanced are you? Because this is about balance. It's about temperance. What does temperance mean? Well, some other words go with this because this is from an old Latin word. And this can also mean tempo, like timing or rhythm. This can also mean things take time or they've taken time. This can also mean leaving the rhythm of the old collective and balancing yourself. So it's about balance, temperance. This is especially going to be angers and frustrations that come up. And I have a few stories to share. Frustration on both sides of your union. Your twin can be getting frustrated. Your twin may be having angers popped out or triggered out of you. You might be. Or people around around you might want to pick fights and you might not have noticed it before 
but all of a sudden it's noticeable. You're feeling it, and it doesn't feel good. And you're wondering why, why, why would you know people suddenly behave this way? Well, one of the things is you simply don't belong there in that level. You are leaving the old paradigm, and you're firmly leaving it behind. But catching behaviors, catching yourself, and balancing yourself, that's a bit of the challenge here. Not rising to the occasion. Choosing what, when is it time to take arms and when is it not. Okay, that's a tough one because for a lot of people, they've been riled up into doing something about something. About a cause, about a charity, about this or that, some other injustice. Well, now is the time where you look at yourself and you get yourself balanced. This is about the alchemy of the masculine and the feminine, and this is it for good. Not just for good works. This is it. This is it. It's been handed to you. It's been delivered. Your twin has been delivered. Now, there's a lot of people coming together. As they're coming together, they're finding that they have to sift through still, still some stuff. It's like getting into a new house and then saying to your your twin, like, really, did I need this old thing that you brought into the house? Did I really need that? You know, it's like bringing, did you ever see some uh, remodeling shows where one of them wants to bring the old recliner that they had, like, way back? And it's comfy, but it is beat up looking and it's just it's not functioning properly and it's time for some new stuff well it's time for you to be new too this is the alchemy of the masculine and the feminine is about sense which goes beyond logic it goes to being sensible to being intelligent and your senses which is your intuitions it's about sense and the senses and utilizing your intuitions properly, not letting the head or what's been up in the air talk you out of it or what other people think is up in the air. Okay, so what if someone says to you something about your twin? What are you going to do about it? Well, that part of you that is your heart will do -do -do -do, repel that person away. Oh, and yet your head may wonder, how do you stop the wondering? You have to find your balance somehow. Also, this is the spirit into matter, and it's knowing your own darkness, knowing what you've been capable of, okay? What have you been capable of, and what have you been incapable of, okay? And more and more, you will be incapable of physical violence, physical aggression, arguing. You will gradually find that you laugh this stuff off, but right now, it may not be laughable. This is being responsive, and it simply means the end of your poor choices. And why poor choices? Because, yeah, you couldn't always see, you know, maybe this was a karmic soulmate, or maybe that person gave you a disease, or maybe that person somehow is irresponsible in their own way, or maybe that person is stealing from you, or maybe that person is abusing you, or maybe that person is really, really, really sweet. But you just can't find a way to end it, even though all of your senses and intuitions are telling you, I can't stay balanced in this. They're so sweet. It feels like they are my little baby, my little child. And I feel like I'm hitting them with, you know, I'm whacking them with a knife. And I know I need to be with my twin, but how do I get out of this? And some people are misconstruing a balance to mean that they still need to take on karmic things or especially engage with karmic soulmates, especially sexually. These have been your opportunities to completely close and clear yourself out of all quantum entanglements, especially the sexual ones that no longer serve a purpose in your life. And I do mean that very much because the lower level interference on your lower level chakras is beginning to be felt up here. It gives people creepy nights, creepy dreams, strange dreams, strange occurrences, anger that wells up. Why? Because you can't stick it anywhere. You're not being allowed to put it back into 3D Earth. The paradigm has closed and you've left the building.
You've left the building. You've left the 3D paradigm building of planet Earth. However, you still live here, but acting and behaving as though you are, that's the challenge, okay? So you can't actually stick things back there. You have to, you have to be able to transmute things with your own body. You can't stick it on to other people. Your twin can't go, you know, fight that into someone. Your twin can't go stick it into someone. Your twin can't go, you know, do something like that. But how do you remove it? There are ways, ladies and gentlemen. So, this is going to go on until August, where many of you are finding that the door is, not only is the door being closed upon you, but that there is a true closure, okay? And this, ladies and gentlemen, as intense as that energy is, this is going to also be that energy that feels like a blessing in disguise, okay? It's going to include those eye openers of what's been in the air, what do other people know that you don't know, what do you see that you need to know, what do you suddenly hear, okay? I'll tell you what else it's going to be. It is going to be as though your very last nerve, okay, that feels like it's been stretched so thin, finally need, finally gets to break away, okay? Even though it may hurt, you finally get to snap it off. And what is this? Well, these are your own energies. If you were to stretch this out, this is huge. But it's been compressed and it's been tangled and it's been you know, tucked away deep inside you until, like this spring or spiral shape that it is, spiral is a very common shape in sacred geometry. Okay, you've been able to compress it to this big, but, whoops, but it's actually starting to come unraveled, okay? Sorry, you can't keep it bound up inside you, okay? And you can't leave it, okay? You can't leave it where it's been tacked down, okay? It belongs to you. That's what I mean, grabbing back what is yours with gusto. You will find that you come bouncing back to yourself. And how do you get rid of anger? A really good way is gratitude. Find some gratitude for something, no matter how small. Find something really small to be grateful for. Now, what else is this energy? Well, you have the magnetic masculine, okay? And he is, in many ways, he is Atlas, okay? He has been holding the world on his shoulder, okay? And he has been dang tired, okay? And finally, you get to take the world off your shoulders and drop it like a hot potato. Okay, I won't actually drop this. But you get the idea. You're not holding the weight of the world on your shoulders. You're not responsible for everything. You're not here to clean up everything. You're not here to fix everything. You're not here to save humanity, even though it feels that way, even though people get like, Da, da, da. I've got the power and I can do this. Guess what? You need to fix yourselves first and you need to finish this. That is what is meant by closure, okay? And that is why many of the ladies may be feeling very bloated, very full. You might feel bloating along your solar plexus, along your gut. You might feel like you're nine months pregnant and you're not pregnant. Why? Because you are helping the magnetic masculine that belongs to you both bring up inside your body. And yes, push away. So yes, as you do this, you're pushing away the things that you don't no longer want near your union. Okay, how do you get your metabolism to shift though? Why are you sluggish? Why? Because you may still need to close out some things in 3D, even as you leave the paradigm. Okay, and I had said this um, actually quite a ways ago. 
I found this that I wrote back in April of 2016. The blue golden people, yes, those are you who have been here in the time of Atlantis. You are new earth people. You've been new earth people for centuries and lifetimes. You've brought yourself in from the four corners of the universe from 2014. The solstice is the beginning of the finishing. Your old persona is dying off. Okay? And a lot of these weird dark energies. These have been coming out for a lot of people. Now, if you want to review it, you can go look it up. But on my videos, okay, you have to go back a little bit, look that up, and you'll find out what is this energy closing out. This is, this is where you started finishing. Now I learned this with angelic things. With the higher realms, you start finishing something before you can come to a conclusion and be concluded with it, and then closure. Okay, a lot of you think that, well, I closed that. Well, no, you need to finish the finishing part of the finished part and just finish it and then conclude it and then close it. Okay, that's how it works. And that sounds like really something, but... This gives people the grace period that they need to overcome fears, to overcome either real or perceived obstacles, to get out of the energy that has been like the eight of swords, where, you know, that's the blindfolded woman and she's there got swords around her, but there's opening right, right in front there, okay? Now I want to talk a little bit about anger. Why anger? Because a lot of you, your bodies can't hold it. There are important parts of you that need to hold each other, okay? So anger. Now, it's commonly thought that, you know, maybe only one gender or the other expresses anger, okay? Everyone has had it. Everyone has been provoked. Almost everyone has been abused in some way. If not this life, some other life. And there's residue from these other lives. And there is the anger that has been so rageful that it has needed to be tempered, okay? It has, you, that's when people temper their temper or temper their anger. I used to work years ago at this place, and it was an auto shop. And we had not just once, but three separate times a car in that someone's girlfriend had torched. Now that's called arson in most countries and that is illegal, okay? And it is irrational and yet it is one of those things where the anger and the fire flares up so much that someone is angry at something someone did or they perceive that someone did it and they cannot control themselves, you have no control. Now, a lot of you have not only learned that you can't control, but you can respond. And that by losing control or trying to control and hold things rigidly, which includes your twin, especially your twin, you cannot control them. You cannot force them. You magnetize them. Okay? I once, years ago, also had a young man that came in. And he had owned a house, and what had happened is he said, well, there's a, been a fire in the kitchen, and I, I needed to find out, you know, if I can get a loan to, you know, try and get this fixed, you know, and, and we wanted to get his stuff fixed, okay? As it turns out, because of him meeting someone else, the ex decided to set fire to his house and started in the kitchen, at which point the fire department came and put it out. Okay? And that's also called arson, and it's illegal. But as you can see, for many people, your union protects you. So the things that are up in the air include things that are moral decisions. You know, is it moral? Is it legal? But is it immoral? Is it immoral? But it's, there's sort of a gray area there. Are you tempering yourself to see both sides of the situation? Are you understanding, and this is the bottom line for twin flamey people, okay? The twin flamey way is, what about my twin? 
That's what you say. You don't want to care about all the rest of the world and how they've handled their anger. You have to be able to say, how is this affecting my twin? Or is it? And you may not even know. You might be ranting and raving and going through your emotional stuff. And just like this depicts, woo, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down. Or there's a shoe on the other foot, too. I once um, have been privy to seeing some fist fights where it has gotten out of hand with some males. And you would think they had turned into two rams butting each other's heads, not really getting anywhere. Okay? I once saw an awful fight in a parking lot. It was awful. And yet you can't always intervene when someone is in that state of rage because people take on superhuman strength. Why? I'll tell you why. Because many of you are angelics without knowing it. And drawing in your fifth dimensional strength and anger makes you very dangerous. And that, my friends, is not being allowed into your union. So yes, many people have gone into this temperance mode. And while you ebb and flow away from each other, your emotions are sometimes going through a roller coaster to let this stuff thread out of you. Let it thread out. Let the bad film come out. Okay? Just let it out. And there are ways to get yourself balanced again. There are ways to hold your union energies, to hold your masculine or to hold your feminine. Now that's where I come in and that's what I teach. That is what I am teaching through my Blue Infusion courses. I will have one June 30th at 7 p.m. That's a Friday evening here in Chicago. It's early evening on the West Coast. It's afternoon in Hawaii or um, it is, I think, um, early in the morning in places like India, Australia. Or it's the next morning, actually, Saturday morning. And July 1st at 9 a.m., that's a Saturday morning. If you're in Europe, that's your afternoon. And I'm getting your upper channels open. I'm answering your questions. And... How do you, you know, how do you do some of these things? Just join and participate. Now, if you don't, that is a group situation. You can participate as much as you want or as little as you want. You can turn your webcam off and just listen. That's what some people do. And I do provide you with support materials for that. You can also try my return of your life. The important things here. Daily living in multidimensionality, because as you leave the old paradigm, you will become more and more aware of being here and being there and being here and being there and not being a part of here and needing to breathe in different ways, needing to eat in different ways. Why the bloat? Why this? Why is your metabolism sluggish? Why are you having uh, tolerances with different things, people, places? your club, your meditation group? Why is it suddenly starting to annoy you, irritate you? Well, find out about daily living and multidimensionality. Also, being home with each other. This is preparation for you to not only to be together, but to gear up the parts of you so that you can fly with each other, merge with each other very easily and begin to go to the next dimension. So that is coming up for a lot of you August, okay? Now, I have another thing to share here. You've heard me talk about the total solar eclipse before. And I just want to kind of show you, I, mean, I think I'm going to put a map on my website. But there's the United States. That's the path of totality right there, okay? It's running from... South Carolina up to Oregon. And let me tell you something. If you're planning to see it, you better make your plans. If you want to get a, a room booked because the cheapest motels are going for five or $600 a night. I mean, it's, it's jacked. Right here in my home state, NASA is going to be live streaming from the University of Illinois campus or right near it down in Carbondale. I'm sorry, over here. Okay, over here. And, you know, I do talk to people that are in this path. If you're lucky enough to live there, 
you've got the show of a lifetime and you don't even have to travel and I highly encourage you to just view it I mean it's something to tell people about I happen to be very into astronomy and so this this new moon in cancer that we just had this that's astrology now that is about home making things right at home and what's your home what's your eternal home it is each other it's your body how did you ever feel each other to begin with through your body how do you alchemize all of the body reactions and chemicals that you already have had since the time of a baby how do you do that alchemy it's through your body well your light body is new it's time to get used to it it's time to reintegrate it's time to hold that is the number one thing that people don't know what to do is when their twin comes and goes and comes and goes it has the net effect of recharging a battery and taking the energy and going back that is being disallowed but you still have to be able to hold and grab back what is yours to begin with do you leave it there to sustain everything okay some of you feel that foundation crumbling again the foundation is shaking we're being spilled out of our tower the king and queen you know we thought we were this and now things are tumbling about you're in the washing machine okay you're not you are actually releasing the things that you are not carrying with you you need to keep attached to you 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 your own higher aspect that of your twin and you need to tuck it away deep inside you so this is not something as I have said before that you can phone in or that you can do a simple meditation on some of those will be helpful but this is brand new daily living and multi-dimensionality have you felt as though besides the bloat you have had something squeezing your chest and you cannot breathe I know what that is join my webinar because this is where I get you open and it does me no good to tell you I got to get you open and get you to feel again and get you breathing because that's your takeaway okay there is value in this there is value in this there's value in all the things that I've done but these are very helpful for now now if this is new to you and you are just finding out what some of this is or you're having you know some sensations in your body or extreme sensations and you're saying really this could be related to that person I met oh yes it can and depending what the two of you have been up to there are ways to help divest that from yourself so that you can uh, feel better I'm all about feeling better and making this as easy as possible but one thing I do know yes it is a little bit of work yes it takes persistence yes it takes some practice to do it I mean you practice anything you learn if you get a bike you still got to practice riding the bike if you learn a ball game you still have to practice that if you learn chess if you learn how to write you still got to practice that well this is no different you need to practice I have the tools to be able to help you do this I know the light body and I know what people have been up to there's a lot of people I talk to still helping their twin get rid of addictions addictions to alcohol marijuana smoking sex arguing gambling you name it addiction is addiction and it equals escapism I help people with what do I talk about in here the mental emotional attachments the things that some of you people call narcissism and I'll say it again here I call survivalism but how do you get your twin out of survival mode where they feel you also and stop this what seems like a one-way street where you're feeling everything they do and then they look at you very cold and distant and say yeah, I don't know what you're talking about yeah I I don't know I guess you've got a problem you must be crazy well you're not crazy you know what you're feeling and you know who it's attached to and you may not know everything that is a has been attached to you or remain attached to you stop looking outside find the ways to get this going on the inside these these two are viewable 24 7 
with this, um, it also has a lot to do with your manifestor. What is your manifestor? That is your causal body. That's where I have uh, this information in this. And the law of attraction only works for twin flames when you're zoned on your twin. That's how it works. You still have to get your subtle bodies connected and in place. And that is what I'm here for. I do also do one-on-one -on -one sessions. I will do follow-ups and I also do uh, body work. I can do that in person if you happen to be in Chicago. And rather than get letting things get on your last nerve, why not give it a try? So the links will be down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye now.